Hi guys, it's Ray here from Mr. Frontend and today we're gonna talk about two ways to get child elements via vanilla JavaScript. So keep watching, let's dive into the code. For today's uh, yeah, code video, uh, I've created uh, a nice page of uh, yeah, an example web shop and um, yeah, we have uh, some uh, cool products and uh, for this example, I use the JS bin. Uh, it's simple, it's free. So uh, if you want to use it, yeah, um, go ahead. It's almost just like CodePen. Um, it's perfect for demoing, uh, creating examples. So um, yeah, let's dive into the code and uh, let uh, let us explore what uh, vanilla JavaScript can do. So this is uh, just the basic HTML of uh, my uh, web shop. And in the first uh, idea of how to get the child elements, we of course need some JavaScript. So we click open uh, the JavaScript. And just like a previous video about uh, the query selector and the query selector all, today we're gonna use that also. If you haven't watched that, um, yeah, I will put a link in the description so you can watch it. So let's uh, start with a variable and variable called product list. And we're gonna use the document dot query selector and for that, we're gonna target the product list as a parent element. Product list. Well, if you see my uh, classes, uh, if you're wondering what kind of way of class structuring or naming convention I use, it's BAM. I've already created a video about it, so I will include that in the description so you can watch it. But for now, we have, uh, well, let's um, close this one and uh, only keep open the JavaScript. Over here, you see the console. For now, keep ignore it. Uh, when it's going to be interesting, I will tell you, of course. So we have the product list and now we want to put the product list, product list in a console.log, products list. And you can see now that here's the element. It's the parent element for the product items. But yeah, in some cases you don't know what kind of or which child elements you have, or uh, in this case, it's only product item, but maybe you have also a better between them. So yeah, if you want to know that, you have to go to uh, through those um, uh, children. And if you check out the uh, we, uh, w3schools.com. You can uh, see uh, what is already in the uh, DOM element object. There's a lot of stuff in it. So uh, yeah, I will put this link also in the description so you can watch it. Uh, and one of those uh, methods is the element.children. And with the element that children, you can, uh, yeah, it says, well, the child elements. So let's put here the children. Well, if you check out here below in the console, you see, well, an HTML collection, not an array. It looks like an array, but it's not. Um, you cannot uh, simply uh, use for each for it, um, but there are 
much more different ways but uh, one of the easiest way is to use the for loop but you can have all the child elements so let's for now we're gonna yeah loop through those children and we're gonna do that with a for loop well it's the most easiest uh, well for some people maybe not but um, yeah we call it uh, the plain old for loop so um, let's use that and it's um, yeah perfect for looping through those um, product list and here we need the length of it and to oh, to loop through this we need this one and well as we kind of loop we kind of console log um, each product uh, for now I'm using console log but you can also uh, yeah do something in this uh, for loop so you can manipulate the elements but for now let's keep it like this we need the array and because we loop we use the i for it so we can get each element and if you check out the console log you see each product over here well and just to keep it fun you also have uh, the class list uh, class list returns all the class uh, classes on an element and you have class name and it returns the value of the class attribute so let's check that out it's just a bonus so we are gonna do class list and you can see you get a DOM token list and you see that product item is the class name well of course but um, let's put in another uh, fun class let's close this and let's clean this you now see uh, that the first one has product item and the second one has product item and fun class so that's basically what the class list does let's check out the class name and then you only get in a string format you will get the um, uh, yeah the name of everything that's in the attribute class so and with type of you can check well it's a string so that's the first example that I wanted to, to show you how you can loop through uh, yeah all the child elements so let's go back to yeah an other way of doing this and that's with the query selector all because you don't know before if there is one element or multiple elements and we gonna change the selector product item and then of course we get the list in yeah much faster and you can see it's it's a note list it's a little bit different than an HTML collection uh, if you want to show or know the difference uh, I will put a link in the description so you can check it out yourself and here you can see well uh, the note list yeah we can also um, loop through it and 
uh, in a node list you also need uh, yeah a for loop there are some other ways i will put a link in the description so you can uh, check that out yourself if you want to know an other way and let's build up that for loop it's the product list dot length that is checking how many items there are and i plus plus we are well let's do lazy and here let's change that so we can see it in the console and i of course as expected you will get the same result as the other way i showed you how you can see the child elements so here you have all those class names and yeah that's about it so as i already told you in the previous video uh, learning vanilla javascript is so important to yeah learn other ways or other f um, libraries javascript libraries or frameworks um, but learning vanilla javascript is gonna help you a lot with learning libraries and frameworks much faster so i hope that you like this video uh, if you liked it please do a thumbs up because uh, i liked it to make these videos and if you yeah want to support me please share those videos share my blogs if you love it and don't forget to subscribe on youtube or like the facebook page or join the free facebook group we have for mr frontend so see you next time and happy coding